another one. Which job to take? What would you do? 50, 54K versus 55K. Hmm, that's a, okay. That's only $1,000, but let's get to context, right? I got a job offer in my degree related field. It's a nice job title, but it's only $1,000 more than I make now and in office only. My current job has a work van and pays for gas. The new job is an hour away. You must live in New Jersey next to Mitch. Jeez, an hour away driving a. I mean, to be fair, I used to drive like 45 minutes to work, sometimes an hour, depending on the traffic. So, and, I, and my job was only 20, 20 minutes, to, uh, 20 miles away. So, without traffic, it was like 30 minutes. With traffic, 45 minutes to an hour. And bumper to bumper, it sucked. It sucked. Trap knows how I 95 traffic is during rush hour. So, anyways, the job market sucks right now. So, I'm inclined to take it. So, their old job or the current, I guess, current job is a field mechanic and the new job for a thousand dollars more is a junior product manager it's a change in career so so here's the deal right but put our five minutes up while everything sucks about the offer from the new job of a thousand like only a thousand dollars more it's an hour away that means it's going to be more gas you don't have you don't have a work van. They don't pay for your gas. Um, all that stuff, right? Here's the thing. Here's the thing about this. I always look at what is the ceiling for the roles. Now, making this fifty four k. Are you at that ceiling? And, and the thing is, if you're trying to transition to another job, if you're trying to transition to another job, right? To another career, act, not even another job, to another career. And you are, let's say you're 10 years into this current job where you're making 54K. And this, this new career for product manager, product, junior product manager at 55K, what is the ceiling on a product manager job, let's say you get into like a reg, like not no longer a junior. Um, let's say you go to um, a senior product manager, something like that. Maybe head of product management. You're like, I just talked about someone who got a, a, a position as a product manager, a technical product manager. Hundred like hundred forty k. So, are you like, are you going to let the 1k like the taking this job you're actually going to be losing some money because of gas car mileage damage whatever the time to drive over there but if you look at it for like a year perspective but what's going to happen in two years five years ten years staying at that field mechanic what's the level of growth are, are you capped out at like 60, 65? Can you grow in this career to double, triple your salary? Can you go to another company with the experience that you're going to be gaining? So that's, so that's, that's the thing that I, I, I think about when I get these type of questions of, it sounds bad on face value because you're, ta you're technically taking a pay cut and because you're going to have to pay for gas, you're going to have to drive further. So now the question is, right? What is your life circumstances? If it's an hour away, are you able to move closer to the, to the new job, which is going to help you five, 10 years down the road? When I, when, I, when, I start, when I get a new coaching person, right? The first thing that we do is I don't even, I don't even ask you, okay, what do you want to do? Like, what is your goal for like the next six months? I said, no. What is your goal for the next 20 years? And then after you, you, you line up the 20 years, okay, what is the goal for the next 10? And then five, then three, and then one. And then now we say, okay, what do we need to do to get to the one, which is going to lead to the three, which is going to lead to the five, which is going to lead to the 10, which is going to lead to the 20. So if you want to get into tech, if you want to get into tech and you are, and like you say, the job market sucks and you're trying to find an entry-level role, a junior position, 
is it worth making that sacrifice? Can you downgrade your lifestyle for a little bit in order to win in the long run? That's, 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 that's how I normally think about it. Because as we say on this channel, tech is hard, right? They might tell you that on, on some other places that, oh, you know, you can get to the bag in tech, which you can, but it's not going to be off, off, off rip. You're going to have to put in the work. You're going to have to put in the effort. You might, have, you might have to take this job and work some additional jobs in order to, to compensate for that money that you're going to lose if you cannot continue being that field mechanic. But why, like, if you went to school for, some, for tech, for product management, stuff like that, and that's what you really want to do, then are you going to let your current circumstances hold you back from your future? I don't like to look... I don't like being short-sighted in these type of decisions because you might turn down this, this position now and then who knows when the next offer is going to come in, in this current job market. And then even if you accept this job, does that mean that you have to stop looking for, for other roles? Because um, now you have the experience. Does that mean like in, in six months, in a year, you can't find another position where you're going to be making more? It might be closer to you, might be remote, might be hybrid, who knows? So that's it's it's always hard to tell somebody you know what take less money but if that less money is going to pay you in the experience that you need then you have you have to look at it from that perspective as well so that's how i see it let me know what you think you know i'm curious what you guys think in the chat because um i'm always thinking about all right what is the next what's the move that i need to make to get to where I want to be in the next five years, in the next 10 years, in the next 20 years. Not just what's going to help me right now, you know? So it's all based on your situation, right? So let's wrap that one up. If you enjoyed the fascinating information shared in this video and you want more, be sure to hit the subscribe button to Tech Coach Ralph to be notified for new videos.